What's going on guys and gals? My name is Neko Fluttershy and welcome to the video. So this video is about a certain fucking asshole I keep talking about every now and then on this channel. Some asshole named DJ Judson. Oh yeah, they had that fucking asshole. Yeah. That asshole. Eh. <laughs> yeah, so if you're like, well, who the fuck is this DJ Judson guy? Why is he an asshole? I don't know why he's an asshole. He just is. <laughs> um, but now I'm just fucking around. He's a cool guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically... I have some memories I'd like to fucking share about this, this asshole. Now, we can't fucking start off this video without talking about... Um, how we met. So I was on, this was back in 2015, so a couple of years ago, I was on PSN, right? I was on Play, uh, PlayStation Network, I was on the uh, PS3, because I didn't even have a PS4 back then. I just got a PS4 last year, but no one cares about that. We're here to talk about stories. So, um, you know, back in 2015, I had nothing really to do. I was bored out of my mind. I was like, you know what? I had this game, uh, Doom Classic Complete. Now, Doom Classic Complete is a classic Doom game. It's Doom 1, Doom 2, the Plutonia Experiment, TNT Evolution, that, those sort of things, plus the Master Levels and whatnot. Um, you know, all, all, all I want to experience. So what I ended up doing, I was playing some Doom, I got bored, and I decided, hey, I'll search for people online. I don't care, I, and of course the servers were fucking dead, they were, nobody was there, nobody at all showed up, except for this one asshole, now, this asshole was named Sonic Doom 999, now for those of you that don't know, Sonic Doom 999 is DJ's gamer tag on, um, on PSN, so you can find him on there, you can, if you want to fucking play with him on PS3 or PS4, or whenever he gets a PS5, which is hard to find now, so don't expect him anytime soon, um, you know, that's the count, you know, Sonic Doom 999 so go search him up and chat with him a little bit. Tell him Neko Fluttershy I sent you. Uh, but anyways, so we, we, we uh, played a little bit of Doom. It was, I, th I, th I think we started out with co-op, like we were killing demons together, and we made it to like deathmatch somehow, like me versus him. Note to any anybody out there, do not, if, if DJ says to fight him in Doom Classic Complete, don't. You will die. <laughs> like, he is just that good. Um, but anyways, so... Um, yeah, basically, you know, we, we, and it, this was before I had a fucking headset. So I had to painstakingly stop what I was doing. I had to stop killing demons for a little bit. And I had to type him everything. Uh, everything I wanted to say to him. I'm like, hey, you know, this happened, that happened, there's a demon there, demon there, blah, 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 blah. And like, you know, um, Yeah. Yeah, it, it was a pain in the ass. I had to actually text everything because I didn't. I didn't even have a keyboard, so there was no way I could actually text him at all. Well, with uh, ease, you know, relative ease. So I had to use the fucking controller. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a pain in the ass. So I basically told him everything. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm this or that. I'm a gamer. Um, so we got to talking, and then at some point, either that day or this, the next day or whatever, basically we've been friends ever since that day, but either a day or two later, or on that same day, I can't exactly remember that far, but we, we, we did a video chat or voice chat, and the same thing, I didn't have anything, so I had to text him things, and I found out he had a lot of old school games, he had a lot of fucking, you know, Really? The game just fell out! 
Aragon just fell out of the case. That was not supposed to happen. But yeah, he uh, collected a bunch of PS2 games with the PS1 games. Basically, if you can think it, he has it. You know, all the Atari games, Sega games, uh, of course, PS3 games, PS4. I mean, he had a lot of games back then. This was back when we were still in fucking high school. Yeah, both of us. Still in high school. This was back, again, 2015, so... I was either a freshman or sophomore, I can't remember. And DJ, being a year older than me, he was a grade higher than me as well. So he was either a sophomore or a junior, I can't exactly remember when. Um, but yeah, so that's when it all started, you know. And I told him everything, I'm like, you know, where I came from and what happened in my life and things like that, and yeah. <laughs> but yeah, basically, he taught me a bunch of things. He taught me about the ways of the retro video game. Because, like, back in the day, I didn't care at all about retro video games. The only thing I cared about was the GameCube and the PS2. Because those two systems I grew up with. The PS1, fuck that shit. The uh, Atari 2600, fuck that shit. Sega Genesis, fuck that shit. Even though I played some Atari and Sega when I was younger, back when I was like two or three, maybe four, I can't exactly remember when I played that. But I played a bunch of old school shit when I was younger, like that, but um, I didn't really care much for those. I was more of a PlayStation 2 kind of guy and GameCube. So if it, if it wasn't the GameCube or PS2, I didn't care. Fuck all that shit. Also PS3, because that was at the time the hip console everybody needed to, uh, everybody needed to own. But, um, yeah, so he basically taught me the ways of the, the retro video game. And he is one of the reasons why I got into retro video gaming. He is the reason why I have a PS1. Well, actually, no. No, no, he's not the reason I have a PS1. I actually got a PS1 before I met him, I think. Um... I got it for free, so that's good. I love getting free game consoles. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, basically he taught me the ways of retro gaming. So, I got a couple of PS1 games, I got some other games, and I'm like, you know what? What the fuck have I been doing with my life? I have not been playing a bunch of retro games. And now, oh, he's also one of the guys that taught me about modding my game consoles. So, now everything I own has to be modded at some point. My uh, Nintendo DSi. Check it out. Oh, can't really see that. Oh yeah, custom firmware. Yep. Some custom firmware. Yeah, I, I got custom firmware on my, on my DS. So yeah, I can mod my DS. And, um, that wasn't until, like, a year or two ago when I, when I did that, so that's whatever. My Nintendo Wii, I had to mod as well. Uh, a computer as well, I had to modify in some way. Well, not really modify, because I didn't have a graphics card back then, still don't really have a good one. I got, like, the NVIDIA 7-something brother. But anyways, enough talking about NVIDIA shit. <laughs> he basically got me interested in these ret uh, retro video games, so I'm like, okay, fine, fair enough, yeah, fair play to you. And honestly, he made me want to keep doing YouTube videos. I actually stopped doing them after a while, like back in 2013, 14, I took a long break, 2015 as well. I was like, you know what, I'm tired, I don't want to do videos anymore whatever and somehow I don't know how or why but DJ actually got me back into making videos and I kind of stopped for like a year or two I guess because I had a girlfriend apparently I still don't remember having a girlfriend named Erica but I guess I did and I guess she also stopped me from making videos on YouTube because there's a long time where I stopped uploading, 
and I uploaded whenever the fuck I felt like it, and I didn't do daily videos. My content was shit. I mean, my content is still shit to this day. But it's not as bad as it used to be. Uh, my <laughs> Just imagine recording in, like, 144p. The lowest of the fucking low. <laughs> imagine recording with Bandicam and having that fucking Bandicam thing on the top that says Bandicam, you know, that the fucking watermark, yeah. That was annoying, but I had to, yeah. So then, after that, eh, whatever. And also, he kind of also got me into multiplayer. Now, let me tell you something about multiplayer. So, back in the day, I didn't care about, I still don't. Uh, back in the day, I didn't really care all that much about multiplayer. I think multiplayer sucked. I didn't like it. I was a zombie fanatic. Yeah, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, at the time, Black Ops 3. Zombie, zombie, zombie. That's all I care about. Fuck your multiplayer. Fuck your campaign. Even though the campaign for Black Ops 1 and 2 were pretty good. Uh, fuck the campaign. We had zombies to worry about. And then I'm like, you know what? No, I don't, I don't play a multiplayer because multiplayer sucks. Blah, 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 blah. And DJ's like, well, why does it suck? And I'm like, I don't know. It just sucks. I don't like it. It's horrible. It's a piece of dog shit. You're fighting other humans. I'd rather be killing zombies. Because, guess what? Zombies are better than people. Ha! So, basically with that, I'm just like, yeah. I, I, I still don't care much for multiplayer, but... I'm more tolerant of it now because of DJ. Because he set me up um, with basically him and a bunch of other bots and things like that for, I think it was Nuketown, I think it was, on Black Ops 2, I think. And, I, and for a while, I was like, I still don't care. And then after a while, I'm like, eh, this is not bad. This is I can see why people like this. But honestly, I just never really got into the whole, um, the whole, um, thing with, um, the multiplayer. And then, um, this kind of brings me to another, you know, speaking of Black Ops 2, um, he's a modder. For those of you that don't know, he basically not only modifies his game consoles, but basically he mods games. Yeah. On the PS3, he modded um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and Black Ops 2. And probably a lot of other games. I know I think, I think, I think he did stuff with Minecraft. But I got some stories for you guys and gals with uh, modding. Now, by the way, he's a cool modder. He, he only mods if both parties agree. Like, you know, if he wants to mod but you don't want to mod, that's fine. If you don't... I mean, basically, if you just want to play the game, you know, without any crazy mods and shit, there you go. As for me, I don't care. Mod, no mod. I just want to play some fucking video games, so I don't really care. But, you know, he's the kind of guy where, you know, if you don't want to mod, then that's fine. He will turn them off, and he won't actually use them, whatever. But if you want to use mods, then he's all for that. You know, he's, 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 he's a fucking cool guy. He's not one of those douchebags that's like, oh, you don't want mods? Well, fuck you then. I'm going to do mods anyway. Uh, he's not one of those kind of guys. But anyways, so the first thing, and I know speaking of Black Ops 2, which I'll get into that later. Um, you know, the first, first time I found out he actually modded was back in, around that, it was around that same time, I think, when I didn't care about multiplayer. And, um, we were playing Modern Warfare, you know, the first, uh, the first Modern Warfare game, not the remake, because that didn't, that wasn't even a thing yet, uh, at that time. And so, we ended up playing multiplayer, and goddamn, he had some of the craziest fucking mods you could ever see on there. Uh, he had, just, everything exploded, high jumping abilities, he had the ability to give people mod menus as well. He did this, he did that, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. You're telling me you can do all this shit, all this crazy shit, infinite ammo, infinite health, you know, god mode, every weapon in the game, X, Y, Z, you can do all of this, 
on console. Because keep this in mind, I was only used to modding being a thing on PC. So I'm like, wait, you could actually do mod menus on fucking console? You, you could actually do this crazy shit on console? He was like, yeah, you know, he, you, you can do all this. And I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, I, I want to mod my console now. Turns out my PS3, I don't really think, can be jailbroken. Not like I really care. Because I probably wouldn't use it anyway. <laughs> I got a computer! <laughs> if I want to mod on a server, I'll just fucking do it on PC. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean... You know, he taught me about modding and how awesome it is to have mod menus and stuff like that. And whatever. And, and he's a cool guy, like I said, you know. Uh, and another time, we were playing Black Ops 2. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were fucking playing zombies. We were playing um, Origins, right? And I, and this was the first time I knew you could actually mod Black Ops 2. Nowadays, that's the most common knowledge. If you are on Black Ops 2 in this date, in this date, uh, day and age, in this date and time as well, uh, you damn well best believe and expect mods. Nine times out of ten. You go into a lobby, someone's a fucking modder. It may not be the host, it may be someone else. Some, I mean, yeah, modding is very popular and common place in Black Ops 2. Um, but back in the day, I didn't even know you could do that shit. I didn't even know that you could mod zombies. You can basically spawn in a lot of zombies. You can be like, oh, I'm on round one. Oh, now I'm at like... Round 999,999, or something like that. With, like, all the stabs and pack-a-punch, god mode, you name it, you can get it. You know, you can get the fisting ability, you know, the, you know that ability where you can punch a zombie and something flying in the fucking orbit, you know, that, that kind of power from, um... After you get all the soul chests out of the way, yeah. Uh, you just do that, and then send zombies flying. But, yeah, I mean, you can do all that and more with zombies. And I'm like... Whoa. Slow the fuck down, asshole. You're telling me I can mod zombies. I can, can do all this. And then I look at the fucking leaderboards and I'm like, okay, now I see how people are getting this crazy-ass amount of kills and, and revives, and, and points, and this and that. Everybody was fucking modding back in the day, and still are, um, when it comes to Black Ops 2. I haven't seen anything on Black Ops 3. I don't... I don't really think people will mod Black Ops 3. I mean, they might. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I also, Black Ops 1 can also be modded, because I saw someone use mods back in Darice on on that, uh, that, that thing. So yeah, basically that's another thing, was that in Duris, I saw people mod all the time on there. But also, i to tell you something. So, uh, there are a couple of memories I have with DJ recently. So, let me tell you something. Back before I even had a PS4, um, and I had the stimulus check, and I was buying things. I told him, I was like, hey, you know, I was getting a PS4. That's fine, you're getting a PS4. And he was going to give me Doom Eternal, right? Yeah, he was actually going to buy me Doom Eternal, physically. And I'm like, no, you don't really have to do that, you know? Like, even, I, I could have gotten it myself because, you know, I had the money. Once I bought the TV and, uh, the... TV that you see right there, this TV, right, that TV, and the PS4, so there's that. Um, and he insisted, I was like, he was like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll buy it for you. And so I did. He basically bought me Doom Eternal. Twice. <laughs> yeah, he bought me the, uh, the European edition, I guess, the, the one with a different age rating on it. Um... I was like, okay, fine, cool. Good thing, because, like, the PS4 was, uh, not, is not region locked, so I can play with any 
any fucking region at all, which is good. But then after a while, just like after the first or second day, it didn't work anymore. And so I was like, well, fuck me sideways. So I told him about it, and he's like, oh, I'll get you another one. I'm like, you don't have to do that. And he's like, yeah, I insist. So he did it again. You son of a bitch. <laughs> and then from there, I was able to basically beat Doom Eternal, and yeah. Now I'm tired of that game. <laughs> it went from, like, um, only beating, like, the first two or three stages. I was at, okay, I, I was about ready to start the Doom Hunter base when I stopped playing. And then it stopped working, and I'm like, how fucking dare you stop working? I was in the middle of doing something, and so, yeah. So yeah, he's, he's a cool guy. He's the kind of guy that will buy you things if you really want it. And he has the money. If, if, if he's not saving up for anything. Right now he's saving up for the PS5. He's saving up for a huge-ass gaming PC with all, all the good specs in it. You know, the RTX 3090 and thing, or 3080, 30, whatever the latest model is. And all this and all that. With basically the, the bad and most badass gaming setup. He's also trying to save up for Nintendo World Championships, the gold cart. But then again, as, as gamers, who fucking doesn't want that? But anyways, so... Basically, what we're getting at here is he's a cool guy. Also, when I got the PS4, I think I had like two days of a free trial to PS Plus. And so what I ended up doing was chatting with him, right? I was chatting with DJ, trying to figure out how shit worked on the PS4. And so, somehow, some way, I got it working, and we all did things, but he allowed me to share play Doom Eternal. It was the Mars Core. And I'm like, huh? Wait. You're telling me I don't have to own the game at all. And I'll still be able to play it on my console. What are we... What time are we fucking living in? We're living in the fucking future! That's what time we're living in. Like, I don't... I never thought that was even possible. But honestly, I'd rather just skip the actual game because that requires both parties to have good internet, good upload speed, good download speed as well good connection to the internet and things like that so it's not it's not it's not the best way to play games with your friend or play games in general you're better off actually sometimes actually buying the game yourself for the console and things like that but um yeah so yeah he allowed me to do that and i'm like well shit you're a good man he is he's he's, he's a fucking awesome guy and so you know, I ended up playing a little bit of Doom Eternal before I got my copy in the mail. You know, things like that. So, there was that. Um, and also, like, he's the kind of guy that, you watch some of his videos of watching him play Doom. And you can see his skills. I think part of why and how I'm as good as I am in Doom. Well, I'm not, but I'm good, but I'm not the best. I'm not DJ at all. No. He is a fucking god right there, you know. If, if you want a god at Doom, he's your go-to. He's up there with the, the ranks of Zero Master, I think this is the guy's name, and um, Midnight. Yeah. He's among the ranks of those guys. The best of the best. The ultimate Doom power. Man, if, if there's an esports event for Doom, Eternal, uh, if he and Midnight or him and Zero Master or whatever would actually do something there, there'd be no doubt that they would win. They, DJ is just that fucking skilled. But anyways, so yeah, basically DJ is a fucking amazing guy. And I have a lot of stories with him in it. Um, basically, I was, uh, I remember when he actually graduated high school. Yeah. 
a couple years ago. And I'm like, damn, he, he graduated. Yay, that asshole. <laughs> and um, <laughs> even though we're not in the same state, like DJ is in Minnesota, I'm here in Ohio. So it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> we never actually get to see each other. Aside from, like, video chats and voice chats and things like that. But we've never actually met in person. I want, I want, I want to meet him in person, damn it. But anyways, so, yeah, there's a lot of other stories I could tell. Um, I'm trying to think of a good one. Because, like, all of them are pretty basic friend. Uh, some good old-fashioned friend uh, memories that a lot of people would have if they're kind of like us. And so, I'm trying to think. Uh, Whatever, I guess. Um, but seeing DJ do what he does in video games, like he's really good at uh, no thing as well. You know that game where you basically just all you do is turn left and right. It's a hard game after a while. Like it's probably easy at the start, but it gets harder and harder and harder in just the first stage. And the game is one of those non-forgiving games. Basically, if you die at any point in the first stage, you have to go back to the beginning of the first stage. And same thing with the second stage. If you die in any at any point in the second stage, you have to go back to the beginning of the second stage and things like that. But, anyways, uh, so, yeah. He's good at those kind of games. He's good at Doom. Uh, for a while, he was good at Sonic, but he still kind of is. Um, let's see. I don't know. When he's talking about how uh, re recently um, one of his friends that he hangs out with uh, sometimes, like, he is lucky to have s some good friends that's able to do this kind of stuff for him. Basically, he has a friend that gave him a modern Xbox 360. A new phone, or a phone in general, and a Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, the reason why he had a Switch Lite is because, like, while he was at work, yeah, he has a, he has a job, for those of you who don't know. Uh, TJ Maxx, I think, he works at. I don't know. By the way, if any of you are in Minnesota and he's at work, tell him I said hi. Tell him! Tell him that, that Neko Flourish I sent you. But anyways, so... Um, basically, he works, and then, like, at some point, one day, like, he got his Nintendo Switch stolen while at work, and he lost a lot of things. He lost all the progress in those games, he lost the console itself, he lost some games to go with it, and I'm like, well, fuck me. Man, if I have found whoever did that, I'm giving him a good old-fashioned punch in the face. Be like, hey. You fucking did something. You did something back. Yet you done did something to DJ. He didn't do anything to you. And yet you do something to him. You, you better stop being an asshole. By the way! I know this isn't going to do anything because most thieves and, you know, most criminals don't give a fuck. Um, but if you are the guy or gal that stole DJ's Nintendo Switch and games and things like that, give it back to him. Okay? Give it back to him. You have no need for a Nintendo Switch. And, uh, the thing is, I think DJ said it was one of his co-workers or something like that. So, I mean, you're working the exact same job as him. 
Just save up the money. Okay? Just save up the money and you can buy your own. Now, with this stimulus check that's coming up, that's what I'm buying. I'm buying myself a Nintendo Switch. I've waited this long without one. I can wait a little bit longer. You know, I have no need to go out and steal shit. You know, I have no need for that. Because most of the time, I just don't care. And I, I've already got enough games as is to last, to last me a while. I have a computer. I have a PS4, a PS3. I got, I got, I got a lot of stuff. So I don't have any need to go out and do something stupid like that. But yeah, um, yeah, so that happened. But just be cautious people out you know, if you're at work and you bring your game system like a Switch or something, or maybe a DS or 3DS or whatever, be careful because someone could actually steal it. My, my thoughts are just don't bring it with you. If you're going out and you're at work or something, don't really bring it with you. I get it, it'll give you something to do while on your break, but yeah, but you got a better chance of it getting stolen or broken or something like that, and you'd have to replace it anyway, so yeah. Anyways, guys and gals, enough talking about broken switches and stolen switches and things like that. This has been some memories and some uh, thingies and yeah, mew. Yeah. Basically, long story short, DJ Judson is a good person. He's fucking awesome. He's a good man. Trust me on this. He's fucking awesome. Uh, and I have a lot of memories with him. You know, a lot of nostalgia to look back on, even in, like, 2015 when we first met, um, and things like that. And honestly, it's a good thing to just, you know, look back at some of these things and be like, oh yeah, I remember this asshole. I remember, I remember when this asshole was telling me shit. I also remember the first time I actually ended up actually talking to him and not like texting him. So, and that, here's a little bonus. So, it was the... It, it was about to be the beginning of a new school year. Basically, they were doing their sale. They, they, were, they, were, they were doing a uh, back to school yard sale at the school that I went to. And they had a lot of stuff there. They had things that you wouldn't even expect to be back to school items. Like they had a Pokemon game, which I ended up getting anyway, because I'm like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for video games, so yeah. Um, it was Pokemon Emerald, by the way. Uh, I ended up getting a headset. Uh, wait, can I? Ah, here's the headset. I actually have it right now. Yeah, this was the headset. It doesn't really fit me much anymore. It gives my ears a fucking hurting of a century. But yeah, this was the headset that I bought. It was cheap. It was like a quarter, I think. I forgot how much I actually paid for this, but I had enough. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'll get it. So I plugged this in, well, because I didn't have it on my PS3. I had to get a USB thing that allows me to use it as a microphone or a headset for the PS3 or any other, any other console. So I put this into the, the USB thing, and I was able to uh, chat with DJ for once, and actually video chat, or not video chat, but voice chat. And I'm like, damn, I can actually talk to DJ instead of typing in everything. It took forever. Yeah, it was bad, like, you have no idea, unless you've done that sort of thing yourself, where you had to type, you know, you had, you had to text someone instead of actually talking to them. Oh wait, that's a lot of people nowadays who are on their phones and tablets and, and computers. They'd rather just like, fucking text people that are in the same room as them. Fucking crazy people. But anyways, 
So yeah, I, I was actually pretty happy to actually chat with DJ for once. Yeah. Mew! But anyways, guys and gals, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like this video, give this video a like if that's fun too. Uh, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon down below. So you can notify of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. Uh, follow me on Twitch, because I do some live streams on there occasionally. And, as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro hoof. Beep, <laughs> beep,